Check out this little guy. This is Gary, the box turtle. Ah, Gary's just one of many little buddies you can visit at the Delmarva Discovery Museum. And here's the thing about your visit. You never know what you're gonna see there. Yeah, like maybe a crab that's both the guy and a girl. Seriously. Uh, actually, we're gonna let these two explain all of that. This is Animal Husbandry Assistant with the Delmarva Discovery Museum. Did I get all that right? You did. <laughs> and we'd also like to, to introduce to you Waterman Jerry Smith hey, from Smith. Thank you so much for, for joining us, guys. Yeah. Thanks. So uh, tell us a little bit about Gary the Box Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> so Gary the Box Turtle came to us through Matt's Turtle Society. Um, he had been in a little bit of a car accident, which is why he's a little worse for wear, like you mentioned earlier. Yeah. He's got a little crack in his shell and a little leg shorter than the other one. Um, but he's about 16 years old now, and wow. he's part of a, um, our reptile encounter programs that we do at the museum. So you get to meet him. We also have some corn snakes. We have some diamondback terrapins. And we have our newest exhibit, which is our bilateral gynandromorph crab that you had mentioned before. Say that again. Bilateral gynandromorph. I'd, I'd never be able to do <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, sorry. It took a while for me to practice as well. <laughs> but so it's actually a cellular abnormality um, that only happens in crustaceans, birds, and insects. And our waterman, Jerry Smith, was, looking, uh, was nice enough to donate the crab to the museum. What was it um, about you, this crab that made you pull it out from all the rest? As soon as it hit the board, it had different coloration. And after you crab a long time, you can tell as soon as you look at them what, what it is. Right. And as soon as I see it, it's like, that ain't right. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't right. So I picked it up and I was like, oh, another one. That it, that's the third one I've actually caught in the last, uh, since the 70s. Really? Yeah. So they're that rare? Yes. Only like maybe one every 10 years that I've caught. You know, I, may, I don't know what other people have caught them, you know. But. Uh huh. Wow. Okay. So you brought, what'd you do with it then? I put it in a I put it in a minnow trap to call them and forgot it. So it stayed in the minnow trap all winter long. And I went I was like, oh my god, it's still in the water. <laughs> so I went down and looked at it, but it was still alive. Really? And it was healthy and it snapped at me. So I was, so I called him up as quick as I could and I said, It's still alive. Do you want it? So so uh so I said, sure. And, so I brought it on back. Here it is. So you actually brought a little show and tell as well. What do you have? I've got another Giandomorph for what she said. What she said. <laughs> All right, show, show and, me what you got here. And this, this, one? this one here I had uh, for another place, but they never come got it. And this one here was probably in 2000, something like that, maybe right. 2005, no more than that. Okay. Is when I caught that one. And and in the spring I go down to Bay and we catch a lot of crabs with all these messed up messed up. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, that is really weird. <laughs> so, is this a problem when you catch a crab that's like this? I mean, as far as... Uh, it's not really a problem. I just keep, you know, they're, it's just a genetic mutation. And I would imagine, you know, if it worked, they would live. If right. it didn't, they don't, you yeah. know. But uh, uh, that's what it seems to be. Yeah. How about that? That is interesting. Uh, come up with fours. It's fours. So there's four little, well, I guess, Look at claws. That. Wow. Oh my goodness. How, okay, so how long have you had, had all of this? I had a lot of these. I mm -hmm. had maybe 20 or 30 more of these at least, and Hurricane Sandy knocked the shanty down and I lost them all. Oh, but, wow. But I, I, this is how many I've got since then. Yeah. And uh, uh, they're real fragile though. I think I dropped the box one day and this one came in. This one was almost a perfect So do you think there's anything three. in particular causing this? I don't think so. I think it's just a, a genetic mutation that pops up every now and then. You know, if it's a survival thing, they live. If right. it ain't, they don't. Interesting. Well, thank you so much for bringing them in yeah. this afternoon. And Gary, you have been very good. Gary doesn't like to be out of his uh, right. little enclosure, yeah. so he's not a lap pet. <laughs> September, thank you for making Gary a, a lap pet today. Yes, of course. <laughs> you know what happens when I pick up a turtle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gary, thank you for, for coming up from uh, Smith You're Island. <laughs> Goodness gracious.